today's video i am going to solve a problem from recurrence relation and this is related to the discrete mathematics and let me explain you the question first of all a person deposited rupees 1000 in an account that yields 9% interest compounded yearly see here a person deposited 1000 rupees in an account that which yields 9% interest compounded yearly so first of all we have to set up the recurrence relation for the amount in the account at the end of at the end of the year and the next one explicit formula we have to find out and how much money will the account contain after 100 years so these are the three questions see here the question is so simple that a person deposited 1000 rupees in an account that yields 9% interest compounded yearly so we have to set recurrence relation as well as we have to find out the explicit formula and again we have to find how much money will the account contain after 100 years see here let SN denotes the amount in the account after n years so let it be SN so the amount in the account after n years be SN but the amount in the but the amount in the account after n years is equal to the amount in the account after n minus 1 years plus the interest for the nth year. See here, if you want to know the amount in the account after n years, so the amount in the account after n minus 1 years plus the interest for the nth year. So, what is the amount for after n years? This is SN. See here, this will be the amount in the account after n minus 1 years is nothing but s n minus 1 plus the interest. See here the interest for the nth year. So the interest is nothing but 9% here. From the question it is given that it is 9% interest. Therefore 9 by 100 that is 0 0.09 into s n minus 1. So since the interest is 9% if we want to know the amount after n years. So this will be the amount in the account in n minus 1th year plus the interest in the year nth year that is 0 0.09 into sn minus 1 so if i take common sn minus 1 so this will be 1 plus 0 0.09 so sn is equal to so sn is nothing but see here the amount in the account after n years is equal to 1.09 into sn minus 1 so this is the required recurrence relation for the amount at the end at the end of n years see here a person deposited 1000 rupees in an account which yields 9% interest first of all what is it asked to set up the recurrence relation for the amount in the account at the end of n years so we don't know how much is the amount after n years so let SN denotes the amount in the account after N years. Let it be SN. So, but the amount in the account after N years will be the amount in the account after N minus 1 years plus the interest for the nth year. So, amount in the account after N years is SN. So, amount in the account after N minus 1 theory is SN minus 1 plus the interest here is 9%. Um, into sn minus 1 see here if i take common sn minus 1 this will be 1 plus 0 0.09 which is equal to sn is equal to 1.09 is n minus 1 so which is nothing but the recurrence relation for the amount at the end of n years so the first one i gave you a solution the recurrence relation is nothing but sn see here so the first answer is sn is equal to 1.09 into sn minus 1 is the recurrence relation and next coming to an explicit formula so let me explain you so as we have the recurrence relation here next to the second question is we have to find the explicit formula for sn see here we have the recurrence relation as sn is equal to 1.09 sn minus 1 see here after that we have to substitute the values if i put n is equal to 1 here then s1 value will be 1.09 into s0 see here if i put n is equal to 2 here so this will be s2 is equal to so here this will be 1.09 into s1 see here what is s1 from this so this can be written as 1.09 into what is s1 here that is 1.09 s0 so which is equal to 1.09 whole square into s0 so s2 is defined as like this so if i keep n is equal to 3 here 
So S3 is equal to, this is 1.09 S3 minus 1, this is 2. So what is S2 from here? S3 is equal to, this is 1.09 into, what is S2? That is 1.09 whole square S0. So S3 value will be 1.09 whole cube into S0. So if I continue like this, so the general term will be Sn is equal to, see here, see here let me show you S1 is 1.09 s naught. What is S2? 1.09 square S naught. So what is S cube? 1.09 whole cube into S naught. So uh, ultimately the our uh, Sn value will be 1.09 per n into S naught. So we got S naught as since S naught value is equal to since S naught what is the amount here? Since S naught is equal to what is the rupees here? 1000 rupees. So, SN value will be, see here, SN value is equal to 1.09 per N into 1000 rupees. So, this is 1000 rupees. So, using mathematical indexation, we have to prove that. See here, using, using mathematical indexation, See, using mathematical induction, we will prove that we have to prove this, uh, prove that Sn is equal to 1.09 power 1 into 1000. See here, if I put n is equal to 1, so using mathematical induction, the first step I am taking is n is equal to 0. So, in this step, if I take 0 here, this will be 1.09 power 0 into 1000. So, we got S0 is equal to here 1000. See here, we got S0 is equal to 1000. Therefore, the result is true for n is equal to 0. And the next one, the next one, see here, the result, therefore, the result is uh, true for so this is true for n is equal to 0 so we need we assume that see here we assume that it is true for n is equal to see here k so here in this if i keep k here this will be sk is equal to see here if i keep K here this will be 1.09 power k into this value is 1000. So now we have to prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So next according to the mathematical induction as you know that we have to prove that. We have to prove that the relation is true for s k plus 1. So this is what is s k plus 1? So, sk plus 1 is equal to, in place of uh, this one, n we have to write sk plus 1. sk plus 1 is equal to 1.09 per k plus 1 into 1000. So, we have to prove this one. So, we have to prove that it is true for a, sk plus 1 is equal to 1.09 k plus 1 into 1000. Therefore, I am starting with sk plus 1. So, let us get started with sk plus 1. So, what is this SK plus 1 according to SK plus 1? So, we have, so according to this one, we can write this as 1.09 power, this value will be K plus into SK. See here, so this can be written as, this can be written as 1.09 what is this SK? So, just now I am going to show you this one. What is this SK? SK is nothing but, SK is nothing but 1.09K into 1000 rupees. So, which I can write as 1.09 into 1 plus K into this one is 1000. So, which I can write as 1.09K plus 1 into 1000 rupees. So, I got... Therefore, I got SK plus 1 value as SK plus 1 value as 1.09K plus 1 into 1000. 
so therefore it is true for therefore sk plus 1 is true sk plus 1 is true so it is true for n is equal to 0 so n is equal to k and n plus s k plus 1 thus by the principle of mathematical induction thus by principle of mathematical induction so this is mathematical induction so we have the explicit formulae as so this is the explicit formulae so what is this explicit formulae so we have sn is equal to so sn is equal to 1.09 per n into 1000 so this is the explicit formulae and the next question here is so the third question here it is also so simple see here according to this how much money will the account contain after 100 years so 100 years what is the amount so here n is given as after 100 years so n is given as 100 so if i substitute here s100 is equal to this is 1.09 per 100 into this is 1000 so this will be the amount therefore the money in the account therefore the money in the account The money in the account after 100 years is equal to, this is rupees 1000 into 1.09 per 100. So this will be the amount. See here, first of all, what is asked? A person deposited 1000 rupees in an account which yields 9% interest compounded yearly. So we have to find the recurrence relation. Recurrence relation for the amount, for the amount, yes, in the account at the end of n years. And the second one, we have to frame an explicit formulae. And the second one, we have to find out the money after 100 years. Money in the account after 100 years. See, we don't know how much is the amount in the account after n years. So, let it be SN. So, SN denotes the amount in the account after n years. But the amount in the account after n years will be the amount in the account after n minus 1 years plus the interest in the nth year. So, SN is the amount in the account after n years and SN minus 1 is the amount in the account after n minus 1 years plus this will be the interest as the interest rate is 9% compounded yearly. SN is equal to if I take SN minus 1 common this will be 1 plus 0 0.09 and this will be 1.09. So this is the required recurrence relation and the second question is about explicit formulae. So coming to the explicit formulae see here so we have SN is equal to 1.09 SN minus 1. So, uh, so this is from the recurrence relation. So I am starting with this. If I put n is equal to 1, so this will be the result. If I keep n is equal to 2, this will be the result. If I keep n is equal to 3, this will be the result. So if I keep on substituting, the nth value will be. So here, so this is Sn value is 1.09 power n into Sn. S0. So here the actual amount deposited by the person is 1000 rupees so sn value will be 1.09 per n into 1000 so we have to um, check uh, whether this one is true or not according to the mathematical induction first i have substituted n is equal to 0 so it is satisfied so we have to assume that it is true for n is equal to k and next we have to prove that it is uh, true for n is equal to k plus 1 see here for k plus 1 so i have taken this uh, LHS here and this is 1.09 per SK. So this is nothing but if I keep n is equal to k plus 1. So 1.09. So this is from the recurrence relation. So according to the recurrence relation we have. So we have, so what is the recurrence relation here? Sn is equal to 1.09 into Sn minus 1. So if it's k plus 1, this will be k here. So Sk plus 1 is equal to 1.09 into Sk. So what is Sk here? So Sk is nothing but just so we found out. Um, so in this, if I keep k here, this will be 1.09k 
into 1000 rupees. So which is nothing but, so this is power 1 and this is K. This will be K plus 1. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. So I have taken this from the recurrence relation. So the first, from the first solution I have taken. So it is true for N is equal to K plus 1. So it is true for 0, it is true for K, it is true for K plus 1. Therefore, according to the principle of mathematical induction, so this will be the explicit formulae. So the explicit formulae is, so SN is equal to 1.09 power 1 into S0. S0 is nothing but 1000. So here the third question here is, so we have to find out the money after 100 years. So N is equal to 100. In this explicit formula, if we keep it, N is equal to 100. And that will be the money in the account after 100 years. So this is 1000 into 1.09 per 100. So this is how we have to solve. This is so simple if you follow. If you understand the question and um, it will be very very easy. So these are the three simple questions and followed by the uh, solutions and if you really like you know what to do please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to this channel and have a look at my upcoming videos and definitely it will be very helpful for your practice. Thank you so much.